So this is Haytham Jalit. I'm uh, representing my paper entitled Seen in Audio Recognition in Open Set Domain. So the outline of my paper uh, contains introduction, framework, discussions, and conclusion. The introduction. Traditional recognition systems rely on hypotheses that all testing and training data comes from the same database, which is known classes, often with the same uh, uh, distribution. They are called, that's why they are called closed set recognition. A real application, however, the label or the classes may extend and new class that may occur during the testing uh, phase. To solve this problem, the boundary of known classes must be well defined. The system can either reject uh, the instant or the new class, or and at the same time label the existing classes uh, corresponding to its class. In this paper, we tackle the problem of open uh, set audio recognition by utilizing the extreme value machines with convolution neural networks to robust audio recognition. The convolution neural networks, which are typical, typical uh, a type of neural networks that has convolution layers. As can be seen here in the figure, the audio is comes as 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 a, a raw and then the uh, features of the spectrum and then the convolution layer convolution layer is layer that has a filter that does convolution operations for the activation functions normal or traditional activation for activation function use softmax in this method we use extreme value machine with webull probabilities. As you can see in the bottom of the figure, that the extreme value machine use a threshold that's either classification or with rejection. So it's either a non-class, one of the predefined class, or rejected as a non-class or novel class. Here the definition of extreme value machine is a branch of statistics that deal with the extreme value that exists in the tail of probabilities. For the training, this method uses pre-training deep neural convolution neural networks to perform open set recognition. For testing, the method uses a threshold to determine based on this uh, probability to determine if this is, uh, 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 this sample or the audio sample is with or is belonged to a non class or from a new class. The feature that we use is a mill spectrum. The mill spectrum is a spectrum we use with. with uh, mill scale. So the signal is uh, framed and then here the spectrum but is well scaling as mill uh, melody 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 uh, scale. For evaluation mat matrix As the definition of statistics, we have through positive, false positive, through negative, false negative. So the accuracy is the summation of true positive and true negative divided by the uh, all statistics. Then we have a, a precision and recall. Because it, we have multi classes recognitions, we need to average 
the recall and precision. There are two types of, of uh, averaging, macro and macro. The first line for macro, macro precision and recall, it's the normalization of the summation for every uh, class. For macro, it's the, the equation a little bit different. It's averaging the numerator divided by averaging the uh, denominators. If one measure is combining both uh, matrices, we will use F1 measure because it's well known to evaluate our finding. Now, there's another thing here, the way of measuring. There are two approaches that's how we evaluate our result with the, the uh, through reference uh, audio. Either by frame by frame, what's called frame basis evaluation. So these evaluations compare the, compare the system output and the reference frame by frame. Another, another method is called event basis evaluation, which means that it compares the system output corresponding to the reference or the ground truth of the, uh, the audio or the database. The database now is cons uh, consists of audio recorded in every day life, which includes 11 sounds were recorded in office uh, environments. Clearing throat, coughing, speech, drawing, keyboards, uh, keys drop, knocking, laughing, bass turning, phone ringing, and door slam. The first experiment is closed set recognition. The aim of this experiment is to evaluate the ability of the system. Can the system recognize known class first and then if, it's, if, it, if it has ability, then we'll continue to open set recognition. As can be seen here, the system did uh, good, but it has some uh, difficulty of recognition. For example, for door slams, the door slam is uh, it has uh, for it has uh, uh, misclassification with clear throat. Also, phone it has also with clear throat. That's why. It is 44 percentage of the, uh, the accuracy of this one. So, because the right column here reveals the percentage uh, uh, accuracy for each class. For event-based evaluation for closed set recognition. Also, the, the door slam has misclassification. So 28 of events misclassed as a clear thought. This is reduce, this calls the, the accuracy to reduce as 85%. Now, for open set recognition, the experiments were performed by generating the difference amount of openness. Now, what the, defini the, the definitions of openness? Openness equals 1 minus 2 yt. yt, that means that the label of target and yk is the label of uh, known classes and uh, yu is for new class or unknown class. The testing 
is continuous all the classes. The training is all for all uh, for only the non class. So how about the target? The target is the classes that we expect to recognize in testing. And now the open set recognition experiments with the frame base as can be seen here so our proposed is outperform is better than other uh, methods in most of the cases and it has some drop in 0.25 uh, percent of opens but it has mostly in is better as and uh, the more open the the worse uh, performance because as the new classes uh, comes to the uh, to the system the system uh, will uh, the accuracy of the system will reduced will be reduced for uh, event based evaluations also in the in the, in the closet almost all the systems are equals but as the new class as the the, uh, the openness increases some of the classes lose their uh, uh, performance and then but as can be seen here our proposed uh, is better than other classes uh, to, the, uh, to, to conclude, we present uh, neural networks, uh, convolution neural networks that efficient to robust audio set recognition. Extensive testing uh, is conducted or was, was done to distinguish between known and unknown class. Uh, our proposed method overall uh, our, uh, out, out, outperformed the presentative of previous works across wide range of uh, open set levels for future work more research could be done to see how well the proposed convolution neural network performs on large real world audio database another future work experimenters and algorithm modifications for incremental learning could also be uh, performed. Finally, thank you for your attention.